Okay, this is chapter 3 in Maths C30, and our first beginnings in chapter 3 deal with right triangles, which should be a review for most of us. And so we're going to start out here by trying to remember, uh, don't forget what cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and tangent is uh, opposite over adjacent, and also the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse, and a and b are the other two sides. And what we'll do is we're going to do some examples of solving right triangles. So first example here says solve all of the angles and sides to two decimal places for this given triangle ABC. If C is 90 degrees, B is 38 degrees, and little c, meaning the side, length is 12.5 centimeters. So what we're, going to, what we're going to do in this question is we're going to draw a picture here. And uh, I would recommend drawing the picture as always. It helps visualize helps you visualize what's going on. So I'm going to draw my triangle here. It's a right triangle, so I'm not exactly sure how it's going to look, but I know that it's a right triangle, so I'll just draw in a right triangle. Put in my C angle there because I know that that's C. I can say this one's A, so this would be side A, and this one's B, and B is given to me at 38 degrees. And this here would be side B here. And we know that this one is 12.05. No units given, just a number. Now, when you're working with this and you're calculating things, uh, side lengths and angles and so forth, make sure your calculator is in degrees. And make sure that you are not rounding off until the very end. Keep all the digits on your calculator for the sines and cosines and tangents and stuff. Uh, and, and then plug in your numbers and then round off finally at the very end. So always keep all digits uh, in your calculator when you're working on this. So the first thing we can do is we can calculate angle A. Okay, all triangles add up to 180 degrees. So this would be 180 degrees minus the, other, the 90 degrees from angle C minus the 38 degrees from angle B. So if we were to do that, uh, you would simply subtract those and get 52 degrees for angle A. So my diagram isn't perfect. So there's one answer, and I like to underline that. And so now we have to find A and B. Well, one way to find uh, B is if we use the sine of 38... degrees. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be equal to B over 12.05. So therefore, if we rearrange that, B is equaling to 12.05 multiplied by the sine of 38 degrees. So I'll plug that into my calculator and get my answer here. Okay, so let's do that here. Okay, clear that. 38 sine times 12.05, and then round it off to two decimal places, 7.42. B is equal to 7.42, and underline that. Similarly, I can do a similar thing to find out what A is. I could do Pythagorean theorem now if I wanted, but I think it'll be quicker if I just take the uh, cosine of 38 degrees, notice I'm using the one that was given to me in the question, is equal to uh, adjacent, which is A, over hypotenuse, which is 12.05. So similarly, we have uh, A equaling 12.05 multiplied by the cosine of 38 degrees equals A. So A, as we plug that one in, we take our 38 cosine and we multiply by 12.05. And round off to two digits, we get 9.4, well, 9.50. That's our first question. Okay, let's move on to another type of an example that you might have. Okay, let's say we want to find angle Z and side Z and side X. Now I gave the angle given here, angle Y is given in the diagram at 18 degrees and 12 minutes. 
and that this side is 3.6. So when you're doing minutes and seconds in your angles, you have to change them to an angle decimal. So change this into a, de uh, a decimal. So this would be 18 degrees and 12 over 60. Plus 12 over 60. And there's no seconds, so we don't have to worry about that. So we take our calculator, 12 divided by 60. So it's 0.2. So then our angle is 18.2 degrees exactly. There's no extra digits in there. So now we can find out what angle Z is by doing what we did earlier. That's going to equal 180 degrees, subtract the 90 degrees, subtract the 18.2 degrees. So angle Z for us is uh, 90 minus 18.2. Okay, 71.8 degrees. Okay, now in order to find the other two sides that we need, um, we have side y. Okay, we have side y, but we do not have x, which would be the, ops, the uh, hypotenuse here, or little z here, which would be that side. So we have to pick one of them to start with. Well, let's. Uh, Let's do the ratio of using angle y. Let's do a ratio of this to this. Let's do sine of angle y, which is 18.2 degrees. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it would be 3.6 over x. So I want to solve for x. So if I bring the x over here, I can get x times the sine of 18.2 degrees equals 3.6. Then I have to divide by the sine of 18.2 degrees. So x is equal to 3.6 divided by the sine of 18.2 degrees. So now I'll take my calculator and I'll plug that in. So 3.6 divided by 18.2 sine equals 11.53 to two decimal places. Okay, and we can do a similar exercise in calculating the z value. We can say that, okay, the z is actually the adjacent side, okay, so opposite over adjacent is tangent, so tangent of 18.2 degrees is equal to opposite 3.6 over z. We can now rearrange it similarly like we did here. Okay, multiply by z and then divide by tan 18.2. So then we are going to get that z is equal to 3.6 divided by the tangent of that 18.2 degrees. Okay, and then we can plug that into our calculator. Okay, so I get three, clear this, 3.6 divided by 18.2 tangent. And I get 10.95. So Z equals 10.95. So there's my answers. Okay, in our next tutorial, we're going to do a word problem in this area. I don't have enough time to squeeze it on here, so... We'll do it in our next tutorial.